Well, everybody, today is the day that AMD launches the Ryzen 8000 series CPUs, and they are absolutely positively not what you were probably expecting. First of all, they are launching onto the laptop market. In addition to that, there's a lot of weird shenanigans going on here to make you think that you're getting a new CPU versus the 7000 series, but it's not actually like that in any way, shape or form. So this video, I just got all of the information. I want to sit down in front of the camera and have a very honest discussion with you about what these are, whether or not you might want to look at buying them. And also one major catchphrase that AMD said over and over and over again, hit it. So yeah, this is the number of times AMD said AI in their presentation to us, right there. So yes, it is the 2023 catchphrase extraordinaire. But where does this tie into the Ryzen 8000 series? And that that's a little bit more complicated because let's be honest here, AMD's lineup was already convoluted in 2023 and 2022, and it's going to get even more messed up as time goes on. So much so, look what they gave us earlier this year. It's like one of those devices, it's a sextant or something that the sailors back in the day used to sail the oceans. This is a product decoder that goes through every single one of the different permutations that AMD is going to be rolling out of their CPUs from 2022 to 2023 and beyond. So let's explain where the 8000 series right now fits into things. So first of all, that first number, the eight, has absolutely nothing to do with the generation of processor you're looking at. That has gone completely away. So what you should be seeing here is that seven marks a 2023 CPU and eight marks just the fact that it is being released in 2024. And yes, you will see these in 2024 laptops. Now the next is of course the market segment. So basically how much performance you should quote unquote expect from these. This next number is the number that you should absolutely care the most about. And that is the number of the architecture. So you can actually see that back in the 7000 series, you could have technically a Ryzen 7000 series that was based off of Zen 1, so first generation Zen. Right now, the 8000 series as it stands is going to be fourth generation Zen, not Zen 5 like you might have been expecting. Then there's the last two characters there and all you're seeing here is a feature isolation, so basically which segment the processor is in. And finally, your form factor or your maximum TDP. So a U would be like your ultra low voltage. Meanwhile, HX is that balls to the wall, high end CPU for the laptop market. So here is right now, as it stands, the Ryzen 8000 series. What you're seeing is a bunch of HS and U series processors that are initially rolling out. This is the only thing that AMD is focusing on right now. And there's one major thing that you're gonna really take into account here is that not one single processor here is any different from the Ryzen 7040 series in any way, shape or form. There's the same core counts, the same thread counts, the same max boosts, the same TDPs, and the same graphics. So that would be RDNA 3. The major differentiating factor with these ones is that they get an upgraded NPU. So that AI processing neural processing unit. There should be also something else that jumps out at you, even though this launch is almost solely focused on the processing capabilities of the NPU, there are two CPUs here that don't actually get the NPU. So they're actually direct carryovers from the Ryzen 7040 series. So, so you might be asking yourself, why in the world is AMD doing this if there's at least on paper, no real performance differences when it comes to your GPU, your CPU clock speeds, or even your configurable TDP. Well, according to them, and I was very frank with them, I saw absolutely no point in this whole lineup refresh as it is, they actually said that in some areas, at least there has been improvements to the core architecture. So there's additional efficiency improvements, and there are potentially some areas where these processors should be getting 
higher sustained clock speeds than their predecessor. So what this is, this is actually more of a refresh that's focused a little bit on your core performance. Meanwhile, a lot of improvements have been pushed to the AI subsystem. Now, if you look a little bit closer at what the last generation was, that would be the Phoenix design for AMD. You were getting pretty good tear operations per second on the NPU, but the new Hawk Point really brings that to the forefront. You're looking at about 60% improvement in synthetic AI performance. But there's something else that you need to take into account here. And if you look a little bit closer at that 39 number, that is exactly six tera ops more than the previous generation, which means that at least in AI processing, the CPU and the GPU haven't really received any improvement. Now, you are also gonna wonder why in the world would you wanna buy Hawk Point now in Q1 2024 when Strix Point is right around the corner. AMD said, hey, we're shipping this in 2024, which technically shipping does not mean that it's on store shelves, but Strix Point is meant to be those flagship devices. Meanwhile, Hawk Point, as you probably saw, will be in the HS and the U series. Now I know what everybody's probably thinking at this point in time, why the massive shift to talking about Ryzen AI. This AI shift is happening right now and it's being shoved into our faces almost every day, but at least from AMD's perspective and Intel's perspective, there's a very, very good reason why you're gonna see a lot of talk about AI performance. And that's because many of the tasks that we actually use on a daily basis are actually AI accelerated or they can be AI accelerated. But the main problem, at least for laptops, is that they're accelerated on the CPU and the GPU, two very inefficient acceleration mediums for AI processing. Now you shift that to a dedicated NPU or neural processing unit, and technically it should be done a lot more efficiency while saving you a lot of power. And on a laptop, that is a recipe for success, which is why you're seeing such a massive discussion about it from Intel, from AMD, likely from Nvidia in the future too. Another benefit that we're actually gonna see with this is just the fact that a lot of this acceleration is going to be done locally instead of having your information sent up into the cloud where it may not exactly be secure. And security is one of the main focuses for Intel on Meteor Lake and now AMD on these new Ryzen 8000 series. And Meteor Lake, Meteor Lake is why we're hearing AMD talk about the Ryzen 8000 series now instead of at CES because Intel is going to be launching that next generation architecture in a couple of days. You're gonna see reviews, you're gonna see previews. We're gonna have a bunch of content as well. So AMD needed to get ahead of that tsunami of AI talk with their own presentation and I guess a slight refresh CPU series that we're going to see in 2024. And there's that refresh series is there for a massive reason and that's that AMD is just not ready with their next generation Zen architecture yet. But on the positive side, because there are no differences, literally, if you don't care about AI processing from last generation to this upcoming generation, there might be some banging deals on Ryzen 7000 series, HS and U series laptops that you absolutely should gobble up if you see those deals dropping. Because even though AMD wants you to believe the 8000 series is that all new and great thing, it actually isn't. But anyways, I hope that this discussion helps you all make the right purchasing decision, not only this year, but next year. I'm Mike with Harbor Canucks, and I am certainly gonna see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.